Hey, it's Steve Brown. It's really good to be with you again. Hey, I had a daily devotion all lined up. Uh, the verse was Galatians 5.13. It talks about uh, rules versus relationship, and that relationship is the way to be, not just following rules. Love God, love people. Uh, I had a good illustration. You were going to love it. It was going to be great. Uh, but something happened, and uh, it, it created a little doubt in my mind, and that's happened before. And I just want to be vulnerable with you today and share that. So I'm on a run a few, few mornings ago, and I'm listening to the Loving God, Loving People podcast. And Chad and, and Robert are doing their thing, and they were talking about the recording in the New Testament, in this particular case, Mark. And Chad said something I've never heard before, and it shook me a little bit. And he said that the, uh, the Gospels, the four that recorded sort of their version of, of Christ's life, uh, they didn't record it real time. And the reason they didn't is because they believed all of it was going to happen within their lifetime. All of it being, you know, Christ's ministry, his death, his resurrection, the ascension, and then uh, Christ's return. They thought all of that was going to happen in their lifetime. And that was one of the reasons, maybe one of the main reasons, they didn't record it real time. Um, and I'm, I'm running and I'm, I'm going, these guys better than anybody ever should have been able to figure out everything about who Christ was and, and how it was all going to play out. And uh, they missed the return of Christ by 20 plus centuries. And we're still here today in 2023 saying all of the signs point to, uh, you know, the return of Christ. And I believe that's true. But the point is, nobody can 100% prove that Christianity is real or Catholicism or Buddhism or Hinduism or atheism. There is an element of faith that is required for Christianity that must be in place. And um, what I believe, even when I have doubt, and I always go back to this, because the question is, what if all of it's not true? What if all of it's not true? And I've come to an answer multiple times, and I did again in this particular case. And the answer is, it really doesn't matter. And the reason I say that is because as a Christian, and I believe and I have faith in Christ, I have the Holy Spirit within me, which allows me to give love and grace and mercy and forgiveness. And then out of that come the fruit of the Spirit, which is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And as a Christian and the faith that I have, I am living the absolute best life that I can live. So the answer when I hear, what if, it's, what if all of it's not true? My answer is, it's okay. I'm living the best version of my life I could possibly live. Now what I believe is, it is all true. And then in addition to living the best life I could possibly live, I'm gonna have the privilege of spending eternity with my Father. So listen, all of us have doubt. I had doubt again. I hope this one doesn't get me in trouble, but I'm going to blame Chad. He's the one that said this. I didn't say it. He got me going down this path. But uh, all of us have doubt. And what you do with that doubt is important. And for me, it's going back to believing that core faith that I have and believing the Christian principles and living those out and knowing it's the best for me regardless. So let me pray for you, especially those that are having doubts right now. Let me just uh, pray over you real quick. Thank you, Father, for today. Thank you that you brought doubt in, or allowed doubt to come back into my mind so I could just reaffirm what I believe about you and our relationship in my life. I pray for those that have doubts and fears and are struggling in whatever it is about their faith and about Scripture that's a struggle for them. I pray that they'll go back to their core faith and they'll live out each day, every single day, commit to faith and commit to love and uh, knowing that they are living the absolute best life they can possibly live here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, live out your faith. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, bye.